Hello everyone and welcome back to the Investment Gem for May. Um, so it's nearly that time of the year again, tax time, when you need to start thinking about your investment property and what you can claim back on. Um, so it's probably a good time to check in with your accountant just to see if everything's up to date or you do need to finalise anything before the end of the financial year. For the month of May, I'm just going to focus on smoke alarms and the responsibility of a landlord and a tenant when you have smoke alarms in your property. Um, did you know as a tenant, if you do come across that your smoke alarm is not working or you think it may be faulty, you do need to report that to your agent or your landlord. You actually have a responsibility to report those things um, if you do think that they're not working properly. As a landlord, you have a legal obligation to make sure your rental property has the required amount of smoke alarms in the property. They are in the correct positions. They are in date and not expired and they do have a working battery in the smoke alarm. At Fitzpatrick's, we do offer a subscription through a company um, that charges $99 a year plus GST. When an owner subscribes to this company, that covers them for the legal side of their smoke alarms. The company goes in to make sure you have enough smoke alarms in your property. They're in the required placements or in the correct positions as per the legislation. So the legislation is constantly changing. So you do need to make sure as a landlord that someone is maintaining your smoke alarms to make sure they are in the correct positions. You need to make sure they are in date and you need to make sure that the batteries have been replaced. You do have to have your smoke alarms checked yearly. Um, and it's a good idea to have them checked in between tenancies as well to make sure the previous tenant hasn't touched the smoke alarm or removed a battery just to make sure they are safe. Whoever has the responsibility of the smoke alarms does hold the legal responsibility. So if you give that to a company, um, as I said, we do enroll in a company, we do use Detector Inspector. They not only take on the servicing of those smoke alarms and maintaining those smoke alarms, they take on the legal responsibility of those smoke alarms. So if you are a landlord and you do have questions in regards to the smoke alarms in your property or you're not enrolled in a service, even if you're a landlord that self-manages and you've got any questions, please give me a call. Um, my number's on the Fitzpatrick's website, but that's another month with the Investment Gem and I'll see you all in June.